The Financial Action Task Force is an intergovernmental organization that was founded as a G7 initiative to combat money laundering, terrorist financing and the proliferation of nuclear weapons. Last year, it grey-listed South Africa and Nigeria, the continent's biggest economies, for poor compliance. However, South Africa is cautiously optimistic it will be removed off the list by next year. What we had to do was firstly introduce, change our laws, which we did in 2022. We had two acts of parliament, which last year in October, FATA assessed that we had then met 15 of the 20 deficiencies in our legal framework on what's called technical compliance. So in other words, we've only got five outstanding on those, and most of those we expect to meet by the end of October this year. The impacts of being grey-listed can be severe. South Africa, like the other countries listed, are being closely monitored by FATF and will need to show full compliance before being removed from the list. South Africa's problem is that it's basically got a breach in the system, which is that it not, doesn't prosecute you know, money laundering as well. There's not enough uh, you know, information about who owns the money, who's the beneficial owners of the money. The regulation isn't strong enough and the uh, enforcement regulation especially is not strong enough. Mostly regulatory and financial things around funding for prosecutions or for tracing of criminals etc. that are involved in illicit uh, you know, funds. Um, and that's what's holding us back. Compliance involves all stakeholders. Getting everyone on board has been challenging. In some areas, for instance, law firms not really verifying uh, the background of their international clients. Even real estate firms are uh, not really uh, putting in strict controls to verify uh, the origins and also, uh, you know, the validity of some of those transactions, i.e proper controls on, uh, you know, transactions. The more difficult aspect is the effectiveness measures. Are we able to implement the laws that we have? And that's where we've been found wanting. And in a way, it's not surprising because many of our institutions were, were crippled under state capture. They were deliberately weakened, particularly our law enforcement agencies. Today, South Africa means 35 out of 40 FATF recommendations. It is a significant improvement from five years ago when compliance was below 50%. There's still 17 critical items to action before full compliance. Sabitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.